The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. And He guides me along the still waters. He guides me in my paths. Siya ay sulugoon, leader ng asama ni Kristo. Ginagwitan niya ang ihang pagka-Kristiyano. Makita gudimot sa iyang paglakaw, sa iyang pagsulti, sa ang usa ka Maria, a Mary who is a missionary. Servant leader and a real good steward. She is a wonderful example of a life lived in the local church of Davao. My choice of Psalm 23 is a result of my whole life because God is always there. And when He is with me, I, ha I am living it. I'm so happy about it. That goodness and peace would always be with me until the end of my life. Dr. Iris as a leader, like a good shepherd, who would really take care of uh, the sheepfold and bring them together and lead them to good pasture. Her mission in life is to show that faith in the Lord can be brought into this lofty like level of uh, as an educator. Mula noon hanggang ngayon nakita ko yung passion niya sa pagtuturo. Ay yung mga natutunan ko na magandang ugali na meron si Mom. So yung yung value of perseverance, sacrifices and love that I know that I can make difference no, in the lives of my students. God wants her to continue the mission of education. As of now, no, she has so many college students as her scholars. She's not only dedicated as an educator here in the school, she extends her services, especially to the parish where she belongs to. And uh, she is with different organizations, but always that uh, fact of trying to help. My life, especially now, is only achieving one goal, and that is this, that when I see people, I want them to get out of the meeting feeling better. And that goodness should be attributed to the Lord, and not to anyone, not even to me. Yung impact niya sa buhay ko, Grabe, sobra. Kasi hanggang ngayon, kahit na may asawa na akong nag, nag-uusap pa rin kami ni Ma'am, dinadalaw ko pa rin siya. She's like a mother to me, a confidant. So ngayon na naging teacher ako, I am also a confidant, no? a friend, a mother to my students. Dr. Iris always say, very consistent in her values. Like, I believe that she can be an inspiration to me. So, solidarity with the poor and stewardship and synodality now are all in my vein even before Pope Francis became the Pope. Even when Vatican II came about, I was so happy about it because the whole church was already speaking of something I had been in me for, for all my life. Her, the mission of Jesus, I think it's really imbibed by Iris. She is a valor of justice and peace and with our indigenous student. She treats everybody like, like equal, but my preference, yeah, she has a special eyes for the disadvantaged, uh, for, for the struggling, for the poor. Mabait siya na tao, madali mo malapitan. Witness ako dahil naging scholar niya. So nung time na nangailangan ako ng kausap, nung may mga problema ako, nandun siya. Pa, hindi ko alam ko ano yung word na pwede kong gamitin no, para sabihin ko kung paano ko siya pasalamatan. Pero kung ano man yung buhay na meron ako ngayon, lahat na meron ako ngayon, utang ko yun kay mom. She must be uh, worth receiving that award with all the 
with all the things that he has done in school, in the community, in the parish. She really deserve it. And I'm thanking the Lord for that. Iris, we are very proud of you. And I think they are right and we are right to, to say that you are really a hero. We need sparks that would inspire us in this very rough, difficult world now. She is a good example, we can say, a person we can look up to. More years to come, more lives to be touched, and more inspiration. We are in need of hope, and Dr. Iris, you are there to give us like a beacon of hope for so many. Thank you. I account my life as a life of service. I have to live from day to day as if it were the only day I have to live.